Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm going to be doing a review video and my about a book is about The Mirror World of Melody Black by Gavin X. Dents. This isn't the um, the actual cover, this is an ARC that I received from Hodder and Stoughton, the publishers, via a website called www.lovereading.co.uk. They give readers of and reviewers on their website a chance to review books, so I occasionally get emails with a list of books and I can say um, if there's any that I'm interested in, and then sometimes I get lucky and get one, sometimes I don't get one, it just depends, and then you give them a review on the website of the book once you've read it. Um, so full disclosure on that, this was a free copy, but it won't affect anything about my review. Gavin Extent is also the author of The Universe vs Alex Woods, which isn't a book that I've actually read, although I've heard some really good things about it. After finishing this book, I had to sit down and really think about how I felt about it. I struggled with deciding my views on it because on one hand it doesn't fit into my mould of, of what the type of book I like to read. It's not action packed, it's not fast paced, it's not plot driven and that's generally the type of you know book that I like to read. However on the other hand it's brilliantly written and it's on a subject matter which I think is really uh, important and often not spoken about so much. The story is about Abigail and she is a, a normal woman and she lives with her boyfriend uh, in a flat and it's about her mental illness problems and we follow her journey through this as well as also the effects that this mental illness has on the people close to her and people around her. I felt the book felt really honest and really real and I think often it's quite a misconception that books that are surrounding mental illness need to be depressing, need to bring us down because <clears throat> we're talking about depression so surely the book should make us depressed but actually Extents has done a really good job here of making it dark and witty and funny because life is dark and witty and funny even when you're depressed and it's a really interesting way of actually making this book feel more realistic. And uh, Gavin Extents talks in the afterward about how this story was written because he has some personal experience with depression, which I thought was really interesting and, and added another aspect to the story. For me also, a definite plus is that it's set in the UK. So for once I understand the weird colloquialisms and the slang and the turns of phrase and I often recognise the names of places that they'd been to and you know different things that were going on in the story. They'd visit places and I was like, oh I know there, I've been that. And uh, that's really nice because often I do read a lot of American books and so I'm not f as familiar with the places and sometimes some of the slang doesn't really work for me because I'm not really sure about it so that was a definite plus and something that I really enjoyed about this story. I really wanted to give this story more stars than I actually did in the end. I ended up giving it three stars and I really felt like I wanted to give it more because of its subject matter because I felt the subject matter was important but at the end of the day I had to go with how I felt about the book and I really really did enjoy it. I just think it's down to personal preference. These stories generally don't sort of hit really hard hitting with me um, so although I enjoyed the story and three for me is a really good read I think to um, get more stars for me it's just a personal preference thing. I really think a lot of people will enjoy this book. I think if you like sort of Silver Linings playbook and maybe Shock of the Fall then this might be a book that would interest you. It's along those sort of lines and feelings I feel. So this book is out on the 12th of March 2015 in the UK and I would definitely recommend that if you get the chance to pick it up that you give it a go. So uh, I'm really pleased that I read this book and I really did enjoy it. I read it in two sittings. It's definitely a book that you can really get into and it's really easy to read. So I would definitely recommend giving this book a go if you like books on mental illness, you like books that explore people's characters, you like books that explore perhaps a darker, um, deeper subject but with a more humorous twist and also um, obviously trigger warnings that this is about uh, mental illness and there is a little bit of death in there. And also what I should have said is I believe that this is an adult fiction book 
I'm not sure about the universe versus Alex Woods, but um, this read to me, it felt like an adult book. There was a small amount of swearing in it and there was some sexual content. So I would say that for me, this is an adult fiction book. So just be aware of that if you're a younger um, watcher and you're not sure whether it's a book for you. Anyway, that's all from me on this book and I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you've read this or you fancy reading it or uh, if you've got any questions about the book that I didn't mention that you want to know and uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Okay, bye for now booktube.